Greetings all, I'm Bill Vensel. This is Chords of Orion. And on today's video, I'm going to show you how to take any electric guitar and turn it into a baritone in five easy steps. Let's get to work. So, if you're interested in baritone guitars, you probably know that they have longer than normal scale lengths and that they're tuned about halfway between a standard guitar and a bass. But what if you don't have budget to just go out and buy a, a full-fledged baritone guitar? Or perhaps the idea of that longer scale length is not appealing to you. Well, there are some things you can do to take a regular guitar like this one and turn it into a baritone or an instrument that plays in the range of a baritone. The first step in your project is going to be to pick a good guitar for the conversion. And really, it can be any electric guitar that you might have hanging around, although I would recommend staying away from guitars with tremolo tailpieces. In particular, you know, like the Floyd Rose tremolos or the more technical kind of tremolos that require a lot of setup. It's probably going to be easier to follow the steps in this video if you have a guitar with a hard tail like this one. Step two in the conversion is to determine what the overall tension of your normal strings are that you run on the guitar you're going to convert. So, for example, on this guitar, I've got a 25 and a half inch scale length neck, so it's a Stratocaster kind of neck, and I usually string with 10 to 46. So your classic standard light gauge strings, this is gonna be your Daddario, your Ernie Ball, or in my case, usually elixirs. As you can see on the screen, what I've pulled up is a string tension calculator. I'll provide a link to it in the video description below. Also, as you can see, you can plug in your scale length, your guitar scale length, 25 and a half inches. You can plug in what pitches you're tuned to, so E, A, D, G, B, E, right, for standard guitar tuning. And then also, the gauges of the strings that you're using. So in my case, it would be 10, 13, 17, 26, 36, and 46. This is gonna give you a tension for each string. If you add those six tensions up that you see there on the screen, it adds up to about 103 pounds of tension overall for this guitar tuned to standard guitar pitches with 10 to 46 strings. All right, this brings us to step number three, and that is to determine what you would like to tune to, like what down-tuned tuning are you interested in? So standard baritone tuning is B, E, A, D, F sharp, B. Well, I don't wanna go quite that low on this guitar, so I'm gonna tune to C sharp. Basically, each string is gonna be tuned down a minor third. So both the high and the low E, for example, are gonna go from E to C sharp, and the other four strings will move down a, a minor third accordingly. So we need to go back to the string tension calculator. And as you can see, I've got the new pitches dialed up on the string tension calculator. C sharp, F sharp, B, E, G sharp, C sharp. Now my goal is to find gauges of strings that will allow me to get about the same tension as my standard strings at standard pitch. So if you recall, that's gonna be 103 pounds of overall tension. So what I did here is I looked at the different gauges available for Elixir and no, this is not sponsored by Elixir. I just, I just like Elixirs. But what I did was I looked at the different string gauges, and I found out that if I moved up from 10 to 46 to 12 to 52, I got almost the same overall tension. So again, if you look at that string tension calculator and look at all those tensions for each string, if you add them up, it's about 105-ish, 105 and a half pounds of overall tension. That's only two and a half 
to maybe three pounds difference versus my standard string gauges tuned to standard guitar tuning. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now we're at step four. Yeah, this is the easy part. Just get the new strings, the ones you've identified, the heavier gauges, and put them on the guitar. Easy peasy. All right, you've got those lovely heavy gauge strings installed. You've got the guitar tuned down to C sharp or B, and everything is looking good. You begin to play and discover that the guitar will no longer play in tune. Hey, what's going on? Well, what's going on is now the guitar's intonation is not correct. And this can happen a lot when you move up from a lighter gauge string to a significantly heavier gauge string. The intonation will need to be corrected. Well, what is intonation, you may ask? Well, basically, it's the exact length that a guitar string needs to be set to to play a note open, C sharp in this case, and to have it be exactly in tune when you play it an octave higher on the 12th fret. If the intonation's off, then that interval will not be in tune. And what we're gonna do by adjusting the intonation is get those exact string lengths. If you've not adjusted the intonation on a guitar before, you might be thinking, oh man, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed about this. But really, it's not too hard to do. You just need to be aware of a few things. One is, on an electric guitar, normally there will be little screws uh, either in front of or behind each bridge piece. And those little screws are what you're going to twist with a small screwdriver to adjust the intonation. You're also going to need some kind of electronic tuner. This can be your standard tuner pedal on your pedal board, or as I'm going to show you right now, a tuner in software like the Logic Pro tuner. So let's check out the intonation of my number one string, which is tuned to C sharp. So Check it out. Let's see where we are with the open pitch of C sharp. That's pretty darn close. Let me go ahead and fret the string at the 12th fret and see if that octave is in tune. It's pretty darn close. I could probably fool around with it to get it closer, but you know, it's pretty close. You basically start with one string, you move all the way through. You'll need to just continue to retune as you go along until all the strings play in tune open and at the 12th fret. So at this point, generally, all is well. The guitar is down tuned. You've got the, the new strings on it. The, the string tension feels great and the guitar is playing in tune. There are just a couple of other considerations though to, to keep in mind. One is that with heavier gauge strings than normal, you may need to go through or consider going through and adjusting some of the string heights. I don't normally need to do that on my guitars. I haven't found that generally to be necessary, but it is possible that you might get a string rattle with heavier gauge strings? Maybe not, but maybe. And if so, you may need to just tweak the string height a little bit with the little, they're typically little screws for whichever string is rattling or buzzing a little bit. The second consideration could be a little more complicated, and that is the nut itself and the width of the slots in the nut for the strings. So moving from tens to 12s on this guitar worked great. The string slots were wide enough to accommodate either the 10 to 46 or the 12 to 52 gauge sets of strings. But I think on this guitar, if I moved up to that super heavy gauge, like the Stevie Ray Vaughan gauge of 13 to 56, uh, the, the slots in the nut might be a little too narrow. And in that case, the string would not be able to seat all the way down where it needs to be. So you'll want to keep an eye on that too. And this is a place where 
if the nut doesn't fit quite right, you may need to think about widening the nut slots a little bit. I personally don't really feel comfortable with that. I would get one of my good friends who is a luthier to help me out with that. Maybe you're comfortable with that. Maybe not. Uh, That might be something, though, where you want to take it to a professional and have them adjust the width of the nut slots. So have you ever slapped heavy gauge strings on a standard guitar, tuned down low and created a lovely low tuned monster? Did you run into any issues like nut slot or intonation or tension? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your experience. Drop a comment. And if you're interested in learning more about baritones, I've got a baritone guitar playlist here. Hope you'll check it out. I'll see you over on those videos.